So you're down to watch this video that you found on the internet like a fly into a web. It seems to me that everything we say and every thought we have in the English spoken language is a form of witchcraft and none of it makes sense. The unusual and fascinating thing about the way that we speak is that it seems like all words have a homonym of sorts, a reflection of the word that dictates the outcome of the speaker, if you're not aware of what you're saying that is. Let's begin by studying the word language itself. What does it sound like. It's similar to the word languish, meaning devout of energy, lacking vitality and failing to be successful. Let's say that this language or languish is designed to subliminally teach us that we are weak and too inept to reach our fullest human potential. In school, aside from practicing the very cultic and sadistic voodoo hoodoo Wiccan practice of dissecting, dismembering, and decapitating an innocent animal as a way of learning science, which by the way, historically, witches always dismembered frogs for their practices, we also learn grammar. At least I hope we do, right? <laughs> So we learn grammar, which sounds an awful lot like grimoire. Then we learn how to spell, with which spells we create a sentence. We also learn how to write in cursive, and we learn how to curse. We learn how to cuss and discuss. Perhaps there's no sinister nature behind these things. And one might argue for either point. Speaking of points, Mitsuo Hiramatsu, Central Research Laboratory at Hamamatsu Photonics in Japan, determined that human hands emit light, particularly particularly the index and middle fingers. So when you're pointing at something, you are quite literally evoking a near magical response through the simple act of focusing your attention and directing your material body to the object of your attention. So in a way, we are all magicians and the cartoons that we grew up with are actually a reflection of the truth. I personally believe that us humans are somewhat godlike, or at least have the option to be, a path that many of us feel to choose simply because of the fact that we're never shown the option. The word book is a verb that also means to arrest somebody. Booking things can also mean you're paying for something in advance, which means that you're exerting your ownership of something that will be yours in the future. Then those books have chapters, and a chapter also means a society, like a secret society. These chapters contain pages, and paging somebody also means to summon someone, or rather page, or rather your page, and a page is somebody who runs errands for wealthy people like a bellhop. These pages contain sentences, and a sentence is a declared punishment, and sentences contain wards, which is like a homonym for wards, and letters sound like letter, which are people that allow something to happen, like a blood letter, which, guess what, can be achieved by punctuation. Likewise, when we've gone to school, we probably go to church on the week end to our local parish to connect with source, which is also sorus, a combining form that identifies reptilians, and maybe after school, which is a ward that also means a school of fish or a large group of mammals, meaning we're learning how to become collectivists instead of individualists. Maybe after school, we'll go to the army to become a soldier or a soul dyer. Oh, and bless you sounds a lot like be less you, and be blessing or blessing is what they do at church. Why is it that nearly every other language uses something like gezondheid, salud, or nazdravde, translating to wishing good health upon somebody. I mean, geez, the very way we greet each other is by saying hell oh. We say good morning, which is like saying good morning. And our small talk is a lot like this bizarre spell casting too, when we tell each other, aren't you just dying for the weekend? I know we're gonna have a hell of a good time. I'm gonna look killer. I'm gonna be slaying all night. Or how about Let's hang out, let's hang, or I'll shoot you a text. Then there's the reality of rune magic and our alpha bet that we use in this human race, like gamblers on a sports game. Our entire alpha bet is based off of Germanic runes that were used for casting spells. Now here's the thing, creating your own reality, being a magical person, and being spiritually inclined are not bad things. Please do not misunderstand me, in fact I would advocate for spirituality is only bad 
bad when these things are silently used to manipulate and through that operate the outcome of the people that you own. That is what these people want, and I don't know who they are, but we have some clues when looking at Hollywood. The holly tree was traditionally used for making magic wands, and Hollywood is a druidic establishment. The druids were an incredibly mystical and fascinating group of people who were a high-ranking Celtic class of religious leaders, political advisors, healers, and more. The Wicker Man, a part of the Wizard of Oz, which is full of these unusual word meanings, was supposedly used by the Druids as a way of human sacrifice. Although this might be disputed because the Romans had political motives against all other religions. Either way, what does Hollywood do? They cast their actors, which they then capture on film as if they are owned by this establishment so that they may broadcast this programming on tell a vision. I'm not saying this to scare you, I'm saying this to empower you and become aware or awe are of the things that we say so that we may cast our own desired outcomes instead of having others doing it for us subliminally. Often people who do not have the best in mind for you. There are also positive hidden word meanings in the English spoken language, such as the word realize, which can be interpreted as real eyes, or the word image, which is I mage. It almost seems like the very language that we speak is capable of showing us hidden messages that we may then decode. Please do share any words of your own that you have found to be on your yourself in the comment section below. Farewell my friends, until next time.